Oh. Hi, this is Tammy Vidalman, about to interview, interview Joey Bishop. Hi, Joey, how are you doing? I'm great, I'm really happy to be here, Tammy. Excellent. He is the lead singer to the band Love Dogs, who, I'm telling you, my fave, a rock. I want to ask you some questions, if you don't mind. No, I'm ready, far away. Awesome. How did you start? What was your, how did you dream about being a lead singer? What was your... Thoughts from, from the beginning, if you from don't mind. No, no, I can. I actually remember it pretty clearly. I uh, I grew up listening to Kiss and you know all the bands of, of my era, and uh, you know of course I ran out and saved up my money and bought a fifty dollar guitar and okay. like learned two or three chords and would jam away, and uh, I was pretty proud of myself, you know, playing along to the record three or four chords. Awesome. And my friend came over one day, and my mom at the time was. The the cheerleading coach for our base football team. So, you know, 12 and 13 year old girls over at the house, I thought that I'd impress everybody, I'd drag out my guitar, maybe get a little bit of attention from the ladies. Yeah, right. yeah. So I started playing it, and my friend that was over there started singing. And all the girls paid attention to him. <laughs> they didn't pay attention to me playing the guitar, they paid attention to him singing. And I'm like, uh, I see what's going on in here. Oh. And then, I saw the back of the first Van Halen uh, album, and, and Dave on the back being everything Dave was back in the day, and that right. just cemented it for me. I'm like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what are. I want to do. <laughs> like, I've got blonde hair, I can try that, right? Yeah. That was how I got my start. <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. You know, a lot of singing into the side of a closet and well, into you, pillows so no one can hear me. Excellent and... singer. I've seen you more than just this band, but this is my favorite band. That was and... my very start. That's excellent. That is, so it was your dream from when you were a child. Oh yeah, and probably 12, 13, That's years what old. got you mm -hmm. all the way to being basically a star. Well, I don't, know. I don't know about that. I'm doing what I love and people seem right now to like it. And that's, that's great. It's uh, awesome. That's a star then I guess, you know. Well, I consider you <laughs> one. I, I, I think you're awesome. The band is great. Thank you guys you. work together. You are together. Oh yeah, this is a true band. Okay, now I am going to ask you a personal question. Mm -hmm. I know you went through a lot of literal hell. Yeah, yeah. And I would like your wife, if you don't mind, to be sitting next to you instead of me and ask you together. Absolutely. Bro. Okay. Kimberly? <laughs> this is Kimberly Bishop, Joey's wife. I would like to ask you <laughs> before you got married. Mm -hmm. You guys went through a lot. Can you explain to the public what you went through? Well, I'll set it up. Just uh, completely out of the blue, uh, terminal cancer <laughs> discovery uh, found during uh, what was basically a routine health checkup. Uh, the doctors gave me initially uh, six to eighteen month time period to, to kind of get my affairs in order and uh, that's when that's when it began uh, Wow! so um, what ensued was just like a, a maelstrom of, of everything of I, I've played the whole game I and mean, we've all had people close to us that have had you know serious things happen or heard about things that that have happened to people and you go wow well, if I I was told that this is what I do. Yeah, it's wrong. It's all wrong. You don't, you don't know what you're going to do until you're faced with it. And you know, when I was faced with it, I just uh, there was a whole bunch of things I felt like I had to take care of. Uh, the band had just come a, off a really successful show in New York that was uh, sold out. You know, attended by Sony Records type deal, and they were. You know, we were on the upswing. We had uh, we had a lot of attention, and I didn't want them to lose that attention. So. Definitely, you were here all over the place. You uh -huh. rocked New York. You mm -hmm. rocked Dave Gold. You know, yeah. it, I mean, you literally to rock Dave Gold. You know, <laughs> come on, you guys rocked. And uh, so I I got on the phone to the guys. We had a meeting, and I told them what was going on, and that I was going to have to step out. Uh, and health-wise, I mean, I was coming to a point where I literally just couldn't do it. Um, uh, you know, you've been through some, some ordeal of your own. You know that yes, sir, you just get to a point where 
as much as you want to front and as much as you want to you want to, you can't do it. Right. And so I told my, you know, I told him that uh, I really wanted him to go on and find somebody to, you know, to to step in and be the singer and continue with the, uh, when you know, with the success that we'd enjoyed unexpectedly. Well, I don't want to add this. They didn't go on, and they waited for you because they knew you were strong enough, and now you are what cancer free. I am. They this cannot point find it. They can't find anything. I uh, I have a, a little bit more treatment to go through. Just uh, they're kind of wanting to nail the put the nail in the coffin for the whole thing. But all right. uh, for all intents and purposes, I sit here cancer free in front of you. And this is your, this is your opening. This is you guys. This is back. my coming. This is my hello world party. Yeah. This is welcome back, Joey. Yeah. And a congratulations to Mr. and Mrs. Thank Bishop you know. on Christmas Eve. They got married. After all of this chemotherapy yeah. Yeah. and after all of this, you guys stuck together through the whole oh, thing. Yeah. Well, it was easy for me to stick to her. The hard part was her sticking to me no, and the admiration that you have to have for somebody. <laughs> oh, that, was yeah. Great. It's one thing for someone to say that they're there for you, but when somebody takes your hand and goes, yeah, I'm here for you, and I'm going to take you there. And, and she has. And that's what she did. And, and you're yeah. here, and you're back, and this is your this is this is your comeback. This is it. This and is my you, monkey party. How do you feel about this? Oh, I'm really? excited. It's awesome. <laughs> He's wonderful. <laughs> I, I can't saw, wait to see him on that stage. Again. I saw a writing of yours that stated, "On your wedding day, mm -hmm. I married." The man, man of my dreams. dreams. I did. <laughs> He's wonderful. Some nightmares you have. No. <laughs> no. I think you guys are great. You're a wonderful couple. I am Thank so you. proud of you. You have an awesome voice, a beautiful wife. Yeah. Who is Thank very you. kind. And congratulations. Thank you. Start Thank you back much. of the Love Dogs tonight That's in right. St. Tonight. Petersburg at the Theater on. And if you're not here, man, you, you're going to hear all about it, so... Yeah, it should be here. Don't miss it. <laughs> okay? Hi, this is Tammy Bedalman, and now this is Raven Blackwell. And he is in a band called The Love Dogs. They rock. Raven, yes. I would like to know how and when you started this dream to be in this band. You've been in many bands. Um, this I, band? Or I have known you, I know, let me rephrase that. I have known you since New York. Over 20 years, which we don't need to go there. Anyway, I've seen you in many bands, but this is by far my favorite. And I just want to know, how did you start this? What was your dream? How did you get to this part of your dream? In the Love Dogs? Or my whole career? The, from the start, what was your, how did you start this dream? Oh god, I was like 13 years old, and uh, my friends played drums and guitar, and I needed a bass player, and I was like, what's a bass player? And I started watching The Puppy Family, and I said, if Danny Bonaducci can do it, why can't I, you know? Yeah. So I started playing bass with them, and then we started having band practice in my garage, and after like a half hour, there was four girls at the end of the driveway. Nah. Yeah, that's right. that's <laughs> it. That was it. That's how it started. You know, girls. That's awesome. You know? Every band I've seen you in, you were amazing. And my oldest daughter will be 28 on the 11th, and she thinks the same thing. <laughs> I've got three grandkids, and my 11 year old totally loves you, and she thinks you rock, including your pool in your backyard. <laughs> I'm cool. to, now, your analogy of Joey telling you, the singer to your band, what was your feelings? Of his... Of his cancer. Okay. Um, shocked. Upset. Uh, when did you find out? I knew way before everybody else. Okay. You know, me and Joey were pretty tight. Um, I swore I wouldn't say nothing. And, uh, I knew before we went to New York. Right. When we played August 30th. Right. And uh, nobody else knew. Right. So, I mean, you know, it sucked. You know, try to keep that secret and try and support him without uh, the guys finding out. And nobody came out when he finally uh, put his retirement thing up. I was getting so many phone calls and emails on Facebook about what's up, what's up with Joey, and he couldn't say, you know. Right. And eventually it leaked out and everybody knew and found out. But at first it was just hard to keep his privacy and. Uh, you know, what people were saying and what they thought it was, and then it just had to come out that what it is, and 
let's bury all rumors about right, everything else, right, you know? Right, right. Because there's a lot of rumors flying around, like, Joey has this, Joey's on No. Oh, you know? yeah, gossip, gossip, gossip. So we had to put a stop to it, so. But then, uh, you know, Christmas came. He was feeling better. He went and bought a Harley Davidson. Awesome. And uh, we've been riding. And uh, he was like, I'm like, Joey, man, you're riding the bike. You're doing this. You're going out. Right. You're eating hamburgers, which you don't eat red meat. But now he's like, uh -huh. I'm eating a hamburger, you know? I'm like, same. And he's like, I can't. My voice, my voice. I said, come to band practice tomorrow night and try it, you know? And he came down and he aced it, you know? And I knew you did. I just it. knew it. I had this feeling. You had something to do with his comeback. I promised him I would go riding on motorcycles, whatever he wanted me to do, I would do, so he would do this again. Yeah, you know, now he's back and he's loving it. It's, I think it like, I don't know, kind of like revived him, like, <clears throat> as a person, gave him like, faith and he feels all the love from everybody that were coming back and, uh, he's excited as hell about tonight, I'll tell you that. Well, this is the comeback of the love dogs yeah. and he's cancer free. Yeah. So, you are actually what made him come back because you got him to sing again, yeah. correct? Yeah. Basically. And how are you feeling about tonight? This is the comeback anxious. of your band. I can tell I'm a little nervous right now. Like, not nervous, but like very anxious. You're That's ready right. to do it. You're um, ready? I'm sweating. I'm popping. I'm just I'm ready to go. And this is before yeah. the show, the before shots of the show, um, I will add. I like this already, you know? Yeah? yeah. Psych? Oh, yeah. It's going to rock. It's going to be killer. It's going to rock. I know yeah. it is. I'm going to blow this place up. Hi, this is Tammy Vidalement with one of the members of the band, The Love Dogs. This is Goshi. How are you doing, Good, honey? how are you? I'm doing great. Awesome. Now that I see you guys rocking, this is awesome. How did you start? What was your dream? How did you start this dream of being a guitarist? Well, originally I started off playing bass. Oh. Um, I played bass in many bands up around Atlanta, that's where I'm from. Um, yeah. But originally, uh, the, the whole the whole thing started. I, I watched um, the Metal Years, mm, and uh, yeah. I, I was probably I don't know, ten or eleven when I saw it. And um, actually, no, I was older than that. I was like twelve or thirteen. And uh, I watched it, and just the whole thing exploded. Yeah, that that was it. That's and that's how your dream that's started. All yep. Yeah, watching uh, Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons and you know, oh, yeah. all those bands. It's like, Ozzy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like <laughs> AC the, DC. The music, the girls, the cars, you know, yeah. everything. So Steven like, Tyler. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> the Toxic Twins. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean, that's that's pretty much what started it. And at that point, you know, um, my brother had a bass. He had a couple of basses. So I picked it up and started learning how to play that. And I mean, some guys in the neighborhood started a little garage band and, and just kind of took off from there. She's been playing ever since. So you went from bass to guitar? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I started playing guitar about five years ago. Okay. What did you do right there? Um, both uh, equally. Equally? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So you like strings? You're yep. just into strings? Yep. And you yeah. can sing too, I've heard you sing. No, I don't sing. No? I don't oh, sing. that was the shower singing, was it? Yeah, I don't sing. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, all right. No, no, no mic yeah. in front of me. Oh, man. Tried to get that. All right. Well, that's okay. Um. I have a question. It's a personal question. Okay. And I'm asking everybody in the band, how did you feel when the lead singer, Joey, told you about having cancer? Uh, um, everybody has their own thoughts. Yeah, um, when did you find out? I, I, I found out a little bit before he, he told everybody. Um, you know, we kind of knew something was going on. Uh, at rehearsal, he was having a lot of Issues, you know, he's always he was always complaining that he was hurting, you know, and, right. and, and talking. He never really came out and said what it was, but you know, we all I think kind of figured it out, and it was, you know, at, at the time, in my head, I was like, fuck the band, you know, I was just more worried about him. Exactly. You know? Yeah. And, uh, it was hard. You know, it was, um, it was. It was pretty, uh, pretty devastating. You know, it's like I felt like one of my family members. You know, it was. Through this, so. And we all have friends and family yeah. that yeah. have gone yeah. through similar things, but you never expected that no. one of yeah. your best friends yeah. and your lead singer in your band. Yeah, we went to um, yeah we went to New York, and uh, we played our show up there. Yeah, Dave Gold. Yep. yep. Yeah. And, uh, 
you know, as far as uh, as far as the band goes, that was that was going to be Joey's last show, you know. So right. that was a that was a big show for us. And then coming back, we we really didn't know, you know, what to expect or what was going on. But um, you know, it, it was just it was just really hard, you know, kind of trying to deal with it, you know. And, um, I guess uh, some of the times, you know, you just try to put it in the back of your mind. And, right. Right. You know, Absolutely. That's yeah. It was. Something that's very hard to put in the back of your mind. Yeah. So how do you feel about the comeback and today and you guys are coming uh, back and he's cancer free? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, so you guys are psyched? Yeah. He's psyched? Yeah. Are like, you like ready to go? Yep. I mean, I know this is backstage before you're not even dressed yet. Right. All right. But I can tell by the look in your face, you're like totally <laughs> psyched. Yeah. You're like, yeah, we're doing it and we're yeah. getting it and you're back. Yeah, he, he told us at rehearsal, you know, that he, he went to the doctor and and, and they said he's completely clean and, you know, there's no traces or anything. It was Absolutely. Like mind-blowing. You know, is, isn't that great? Fucking phenomenal. You know? And you're psyched? Yes. <laughs> so we... Yeah. You know, and, and more so just that, you know, Joe's going to be okay. Yeah. You know, whether exactly. Whether the band makes it and, you know, and whatever happens with the band happens with the band, so what? But, you know, the, just the fact that, you know, Joe's healthy and... Well, I happen you know, to love this band. He's going to make it, you know, so... As far as that situation goes, for me, it's like, you know, the band comes second. Absolutely. You know? Yep. I'm just happy that, that Joey's going to be okay. And you got your singer back. Yeah. <laughs> and you didn't replace him. Nope. You guys, I have so much respect for you not even replacing him. I know that you guys are thinking about it, it but was, you didn't. You yeah. all knew he was going to get through this. Yeah, I mean, that, that whole situation was, it, it was something that we talked about, and, um... Raven and myself, you know, had a long, a long talk about it, and we discussed auditioning people and, and bringing some people in and trying them, and some of our friends that, you know, that are good friends with the band, they came in and we diddled and dabbled around with them, but, you know, it was more just kind of goofing off at rehearsal and whatnot. But, you would never replace them? Yeah, you know, it, it, just, you. It, 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 it never felt right. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So. It's awesome. So you psyched? I'm, I'm super excited. We're here it's at be a great show. St. Pete at the theater. Yep. You're setting up, literally, yep. getting you in sweaty. Sweaty. Yeah. Ooh, I like it. Hi, this is Tammy Bedalman, and I am with the drummer, Dave, of the Love Dogs. How you doing, Dave? I'm doing great, Tammy. How you doing? No, oh, I'm psyched. I have a question for you. How did you start? What inspired you to be a drummer in the band? Well, to be drums, ever since I was a little boy, drums were cool, you know, they were, you know, you get, got to beat on and all that, you know, it started with pots and pans, and more or less, that's how it started. And I got my first kit when I was eight. My grandfather, my grandfather bought it for me. And he kind of put me on the path of it, and started playing, and I've been playing ever since. Awesome. And you've been in it for... Um, quite a while. Oh, for 20 years? Yeah, over 20, 20 years, years. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. And how did you get into this band? This band here, the Love Dogs. Joe, yeah, the Love Dogs, uh, Joey contacted me. Joey did? Yes, he did. And uh, I just had a recent breakup with the next band of mine, which they're still around. They're looking for another drummer. Absolutely, if you're gone. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. right. So, uh, Joey contacted me, and we uh, talked a little bit, you know, a couple times, and and uh, I was definitely inter interested, and he gave me a shot to come out, and well, you guys here rock. we are. You rock. You yeah. totally rock. I'm gonna ask you a personal question. Okay. How did you feel when Joey told you about his cancer? It. Um, I and when did you find out? I found out. Um, it was uh, through a band member. Uh, he didn't actually tell me himself, you know. Joey had a hard time talking about it. I, I can understand that. Yeah, that's what we But, you know, it kind of really took the, the wind out, you know, because, I mean, I just had got in the band. And, matter of fact, this is our first show together. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it, it really um, it took me by surprise. And, uh, you know, but. We stuck together. I mean, we, we, you know, 
stayed you know together as a unit, which is, okay. says a lot about the Love Dolls. Yes, it does. And he never replaced Joey, and no. he knew you guys just knew mm -hmm. that he was going to survive this mm -hmm. yes, when man. he was actually supposed to not survive with a certain amount of time. Yes, six I mean, to eighteen months they gave him, and mm -hmm. now they can't even find it. I know, and and the thing about that's remarkable is he's come, he's stronger now than what he was before. Absolutely. In my eyes, I mean, he's. Well, I can really see. Nice. I can. I can tell. I'm with his new wife, and mm -hmm. and she's wonderful. And Kim is. Great. Which leads me to yours. Mm -hmm. And if you don't mind, I would like to invite her. Okay. <laughs> Hi. This is Natasha. Hi. Natasha. How does it feel to be the girlfriend of the drummer of the Love Dogs? Oh, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. I've always been so incredibly proud of him. Mr. Newman was the one that was his grandfather that got him the first set of drums when he was a little boy. Right. He's been playing his whole life. Right. He's just awesome. Hardcore. And how do you guys feel about tonight? Oh my God, I'm so, back. so excited. Just yeah, we're very excited. I mean, it's, it's like I said, this is actually our first show together. So, I mean, it's... I was thinking that for you know for a little while now I wasn't even going to be able to play you know with Joey. Right. And uh, but um, really I've been. Sight. Yeah. Sight. You're sight. Yeah. Sight. Oh yeah. Well, it, it, you know the first time that we ever saw Joey play in like the Love Dog was here at the State Theater, and it was funny, but um, actually I got a sense at that moment in time I said something's wrong. I think he's sick. I know it like, sounds weird, but I just felt... You had a feeling, vibes. Something, I don't know, yeah. Okay, well, let's get off that and go to this. Now that he's cancer-free, I know. and they can't I find it, how do you feel? I think it's a miracle. Destiny. Right. destiny. Totally destiny. Yeah, destiny. Completely. It's extraordinary. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, it's the uh, the will. I mean, it's, it's the power. I mean, it's, it's, you, know, you, have to, you have to want to live, and Joey's proved it. You, know, you have to want to live, and you're going to... You, have to put it in your mind that you're going to beat it, and he did it, so uh, and yes, I'm, he really, did. I'm really happy. We are at, in St. Pete at the theater, and they are rocking tonight, and if you're not here, oh. <laughs> Hi, this is Kevin Cadellman, and I am with Lance, one of the guitarists for the Love Dogs. Hi, Lance, I need you. I need How did you start? I started playing like I was around 14 though and took lessons and that stuff never really stopped. So it's just always been a dream. Yes. That's something I like to do and I really, really love it. So since you were 13, you said? Well, since I was little, like seven or eight, I wanted to. But I okay, so your dream, like yeah. eight years old, yeah. you wanted to do this. Yeah. And that was your own. Yes. I still a little too unsure to actually play that. Right. Yeah, right around 14, I started playing and picked up real quick. Yeah. We're playing bars. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty good. We're going to go play out of the bars. That's great. Um, I have a personal question to ask you. How and when did you find out about Joey and Jensen? It was, um, you played in New York on Labor Day.